Hello everybody, today we're doing a little bait demo again. Winter's approaching slowly but surely, and in the Gulf Coast it means a chair time of the year. And a lot of new anglers and young anglers out there don't actually know how to catch chair. So today I'm going to show you a very simple way, a very effective way to rig up a chair trace. Not very difficult at all, and you can catch your bag limit for the day. The most important thing you've got to remember about targeting shad is they've actually got teeth and they can bite through any nylon. So when you target shad, you need to use a steel or a wire trace. So the best trace wire to use is the number six or number seven, not too heavy, not too thick, and they won't bite through that and that's perfect. So a very simple little trace is, as I said, two hooks, both number six steel, not very big hooks, you don't need very big hooks to a swivel, and then from a swivel to a piece of nylon, and a float. Now the purpose of the float is to lift your bait off the ground. Shad like to feed in the mid-break or the mid-water, a meter or so above the ground. So you want to lift your bait, get it into the zone where they swim and feed, and as I said, very simple little setup, but that works the best. The shad's favorite bait is sardine, so that's obviously what I'm going to go do. Get yourself a nice box of fresh sardines, and um, as I said, it's, it's not a very complicated bait to do. Make sure the sardines are nice and fresh. This one's a little bit older I'm using here, but the fresher the bait, the better it works. All right, so to rig the sardine, it's quite simple. First thing I like to do is just cut the tail off. Right, so you're just left with the old sardine like it, and from now on it's very, very simple. So your first hook, which is the longest one, you hook through the tail in like this, and then you're going to cotton on a bit, keep it nice and firm. Right, so I like to put a bit of cotton on the shank of the hook, so it doesn't twist sideways, and then just wind a little bit up the sardine right to the swivel, which is near the sardine's head. And that's going to keep everything in place when you cast. And then you take your second hook. And I like to place it on the other side of the sardine. And cotton that on there. All right, and there we go. Very simple little bait, as I said. You got your flotation, keep your bait up, and the two hooks, when the shad comes and he bites it back in to disable the fish, you're gonna hook him immediately. Just when you're catching shad, also remember there's a bag limit to shad. In case then you're only allowed keeping four per day, and there's also a size limit. So please stick to your bag limits, stick to your size limits, and um, enjoy the fishing. I'm sure that's going to work for you. As I said, it's very simple and very easy to get shared. <laughs> 